Hey folks, this is Kenny. Hey, we're going to do a video on uh, my new solar panel ins installation. I'm going to be adding another uh, 240 watts on um, two 12 volt panels in series at, to make 24 volts. So that gives me a 240 volts. Uh, two, excuse me, 240 watts of power at 24 volts. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm what I'm going to be doing. This is part one. I'm a new project. I'm adding, uh, I got 2,310 watts of power now. So adding these 240 watt total panels will give me 2550 for my 2500 watt inverter. So, but you know, it'll probably never reach that. But hey, if I get to make too much power, I'll just uh, shut something down. All right, here we uh, I had a new charge controller and different stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna just show you what's going on with the project. All right, here we go, y'all. These are my these are my new 120 watt from Alt E Alt E brand. And if you can see here, I'll go upside down. These are Alt. E 120 watts 12 12 volts and these are nice panels I got them on cyber a cyber Monday deal then they still have it going on but these are nice pile of crystalline panels 120 watts at 12 volts and I got some angle coming um, I got some aluminum angle coming I'm gonna make my own brackets and y'all gonna love this part I'm using hinges, hinges, this is going to be a wall mount, a siding mount on, on, my, on my solar shop, and that way I can use these heavy duty uh, Stanley hinges, these heavy duty Stanley hinges, lifespan, they're galvanized with the brass uh, uh, hinge, with the uh, with the Teflon inserts right there. These things will last a long time. And these are going to go to my building and go to my solar panels with the angle and um, some other. I got plenty of nuts and bolts, stuff like that. This can be pretty neat. Mount the hinges up here. Up here. Underneath here. And where the, the, the panel can. I can swing at different times of year. Like th this time of year, I want like a 30 degree angle, or almost a or almost a z 90 degrees or zero degrees, to where I get the sun when it comes all the way around the south, kind of the southwest corner of the shop, in the winter time, um, to get some the ma my maximum solar that I need. Because this time of year, you need a lot of solar, more solar panels to get your to collect all the sun that you want. All right, I'm gonna take you over to the shop and show you what's going on. And these are pretty cool panels. These are just the junction box and you add your own cables. Pretty simple. And here are the specs on the on the solar on the solar panels. All the and they're nice, $143 a piece. And they warranty them for 25 years. So we're gonna see how they go. All right. Yeah, all I love the store, good store. Always treat me right. And they came shipping this big old box with my charge controller and all other goodies, my new, my new DIN rail mount uh, breakers, but yeah, here you go. I'm gonna show you what I'm planning on doing. Now y'all take a tour. Walk with me. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty neat. I could have, uh, I couldn't hook them up to my other Outback, uh, my other Flex Max 80 because I just wouldn't do right. Because um, I had the other ones in on series. It's 700 watts on top of the roof. So, I will be, uh, so I, I had to get a separate charge controller 
and everything. And I tied my everything into my shunts, going to my battery bank, so everything's good to go. But here on the outside of the building, right here, I'm mounting the solar panels up here. The hinges, the hinges, this, the hinges. I mean, and then I'm, you know, and that way. I can take the panels and swing them out or flat for this time of year where we're going to get sunlight and in the summer solstice I can swing the panels up at a different angle to get me more sun so and I got my my ground and my PV cable come out of my combiner box all right out of my combiner box and this is a whole little, little separate system I'm just like a backup um, you know in case something happens and it's 240 watts so I keep the batteries charged really good and maybe more power Woohoo! that's what I'm talking about but yeah never be finished with solar love it but here's what I've been doing inside the past couple days um, I went ahead and installed my PV cable. I hope y'all can see that. But my PV cable is going through there. And you see I got everything marked. Battery. ProStar. Positive. Um... Battery post-star positive, that's going to the shunt. And then from there it goes to the charge controller. And PV positive. PV negative. That's fairly it. And then I got them going in here. I got them going in here to my midnight baby box. My, this is PV positive. 12 amp breakers. Y'all can see that. 12 amp breakers. And battery positive Pro Star. My Pro Star is my Morning Star Pro Star 15 amp uh, charge controller. That's why I got it marked that way. It's good to have good to have everything labeled. But uh, anyway, here's my new system, and I got everything. Everything is wired. Tried to wire as neat neat as I could. So I had a whole nother charge controller. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crank her on. I'm gonna press battery pro star. You can watch her crank up. And we're at 27.3 volts. No solar amps. I don't have anything connected to load. So yeah, it's it's booming. Nice, this is a nice little chart for Morningstar, ProStar 15, it rocks. And it's, P, it's a PWM. Uh, for 240 watts, I really don't recommend MPPT, but I just got the PWM. And we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I've had good luck with these. I got, this is my second, actually my third Morningstar ProStar and I like the display and I like the, the lights tell me my, what my batteries are at and all that good stuff and it's a simple a simple um, a good system good charge controller so anyway like I like to say I hook connected everything into here but my mate will still read the power uh, coming out of there because on my FlexNet DC you will see how I many um, kilowatt hours I produce so that's not a problem but anyway I just want to give you an update of what I've been up to and, and we'll in the next video I'll show you how I got it set up and I'll be be, be producing some more power okie dokie y'all well this is KVUSMC or Kenny uh, thank y'all for watching and um
please subscribe. And you can find me on Facebook or Skype or Google Plus. And it's Kenneth W. Vyer Jr. or KVUSMC. Okay, thank you all. Any questions or comments, give me a holler or comment me or anything. Also, you can find me on Skype. All right, y'all take care, y'all. Thank you for watching. All right, bye-bye.